हेलो एवरीवन आई सुमेश शर्मा गोइंग टू डिलीवर माय वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन वेब डिज़ाइन इट्स अ फोर सेमिस्टर सब्जेक्ट इन ए के टी यू सो द कोड ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इज के आई टी फोर जीरो वन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द यूनिट वन इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एच टी एम एल इन एच टी एम एल देन आफ्टर वी विल डिस्कस आफ्टर एच टी एम एल वी विल डिस्कस सी एस एस एंड देन जावा स्क्रिप्ट Fine. So, in first lecture, we will just get the basic knowledge about the web design development. Why? How we? What are the basic principles to develop a website? What is domain name server? What is URL? And how we can write the HTML program? And what kind of softwares we are required to create the HTML or to create the web page using? HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So we start with the basic principles which are involved in developing a website. So, so an effective website design should fulfill its intent function by conveying its particular message whilst simultaneously engaging the vis visitors. Several factors uh, as consistency, colors, typography, imagery, simplicity, and functionality all contribute. to the good website design so the first uh, point to develop a web page or website is the it must indicate the purpose your website needs to accommodate the need of the user if a user is searching let's suppose we are creating a website for the uh, let's suppose we are creating a website uh in which we are selling the electronics item so it must uh fulfill the requirement of the user they must uh opt they must see the uh all uh, equipments electronics equipments might be it may be mobile it may be fridge it may be a refrigerator it may be a uh you can say <coughs> refrigerator mobile phones uh, mesh washing machines and so many electronics item must be included in your uh, website so that it can fulfill the requirement of the user so having a simple clear intention on all pages we will help the user and can interact with what you have to offer so there are many different purpose uh, purposes that websites may may have but there are core purpose common to all websites like uh, describing the expertise aapki website ko expertise describe karna chahiye building the reputation of the organization it must generate the leads and sales and after care simplicity uh, it is the best way to go when considering the user experience and the usability of your website below uh, there are some ways to achieve the simplicity through design like colors uh, it has the power to communicate message and and evoke emotional responses finding a color palette that fits your brand will allow you to influence your customers behavior towards your brand keep the color selection limited to less than the five colors uh, complementary colors who work very well pleasing the color pleasing color combination increase your customer engagement and make the user feel good type uh, the typography has the has an important role to play on your website it commands attention and works as a visual interpretation of the brand's voice type faces should be legible and only use a maximum of three different fonts on the website okay imagery image is a very useful visual aspect used within communication this includes still photography illustration video and all forms of graphics all imagery should be expressive and capture the spirit of the company and act as the embodiment of their brand personality most of the initial information we consume on the website is visual and as a first impression it is important that high quality images are used to form an impression of professionalism and credibility in the visitors mind navigation navigation is a way 
finding system used on websites where visitors interact and find what they are looking for. Website navigation is key to retaining visitors. If the website navigation is confusing, visitors will give up and find what they need elsewhere. So, keeping navigation simple, intuitive and constituent, consistent on every page is a key. F-shaped pattern, the F-based pattern is the most common way visitors scan the text on a website. So, eye tracking studies have uh, found that most of what people see is in the top and left area of the screen. The F-shaped layout mimics a natural pattern of reading in the west means left to right and top to bottom. An effective designed website will work with a reader's natural pattern of scanning the page. Visual hierarchy. Visual hierarchy is the arrangement of element is order of importance. This is done either by size, either by color, image, contrast typographically, white space, textures and styles. So, one of the most important function of visual hierarchy is to establish a focal point. This shows visitors where the most important information is. Next, which is very important, which is content. An effective web design has both great design and great content. Using compelling language, great content can attract and influence visitors by converting them into customers. Fine. Next is the grid based layout. Grid helps to structure your design and keep your content organized. The grid helps to align elements on the page and keep it clean. Grid based layout arranges content into a clean rigid grid a structure with columns, sections that line up and feel balanced and impose order and results in an aesthetically pleasing website. Next important point is load time. So, load time indicates once if your website is taking uh, so much time in loading, the customer easily quit and move to the other side. So, the load time of your website should be less. So, waiting for a website to load will lose the visitor. Nearly half of web visitors expect a site to load in 2 seconds or less and then potentially leave a site that is not loaded within the 3 seconds. So, optimizing image sizes will help load your site faster. Next important which is uh, very much important in this type of uh, uh, competition of uh, business. So, the important point is mobile friendly. More people are using their phone, phones or other devices to browse the website. It is important to consider building your website with a responsive layout where your website can adjust to different screens. Now, we talk about website. So, it is basically the combination of different web pages which are linked together in a certain fashion according to the designer's will and organizational need served through the same domain name server. The developer, the developed website is prepared and maintained by a person, group or an organization. Website is typically hosted on single web server for its access through the network. So, each website is provided with a unique uniform resource locator which we generally say is URL and access through the hypertext transfer protocol which we generally say is HTTP responsible for making communication possible between the client machine and the server. Now, the types of websites are of two types, static website and dynamic websites. As the name is specify static means the page are static, the information cannot be altered, we cannot get any kind of information from the user. So, the pages are pre-built and the content of page is same visible for all visitors. For static web pages, when a server receives a request, a request 
for a web page then the server sends a response to the client without doing any additional process hence a static website are fast and these web pages are seen through a web browser so in static web pages pages will remain the same until someone changes it manually there is no processing of content on the server according to the user in static website so web pages are written by the server with no change therefore there is no interaction with the database also they are less costly as the host does not need to support server side processing with different languages so one thing is uh, required to note that static does not mean that it will not respond to the user actions these websites are called static because these cannot be manipulated on the server or interaction with the databases which we generally use in uh, we do in dynamic website so this is the diagram for static web pages this is the web browser and here is the web server once the request has been sent to the web browser server responds it to that request so it generally happens in the static website so the browser requests the page server gives a response on to that request and send that page is to the browser and the page will be visible to the visitors now we talk about the dynamic websites in dynamic web websites web pages are returned by the server which are first processed and then sent to the user means some modifications or some information may be updated according to the need of the user and then sent back to the browser so it means they are not pre built web pages but they are built according to the user's demand with the help of server side scripting languages such as php node js asp.net and many more supported by the server so they are slower than static websites but updates and interaction with the database are possible in dynamic website dynamic websites are used over static websites as updates can be done very easily as compared to the static websites where altering in every pages page is required but in dynamic website it is possible to do a common change once it will reflect on all the web pages in dynamic web pages the content of pages is different for different visitors it takes more time to load than static web pages dynamic web pages are used where the information is changed frequently for example stock price weather information etc this is a diagram how the dynamic page uh, dynamic website works web browser sends a request to the server server calls an application program in response to the http request program execute and produce the html output to the web server and then web server send the response to the browser so we can see the some major difference between the static web pages and dynamic web pages in static web pages pages will remain same until someone changes it manually in dynamic web pages content of pages are different for different visitors same content is delivered every time in static web pages while in dynamic web pages content may change every time the page is loaded static web pages are simple in terms of complexity dynamic web pages are complicated in static web pages informations are changed rarely while in dynamic web pages informations are changed frequently static web pages takes less time for loading than dynamic web pages while dynamic web pages takes more time for loading in static web pages database is not used in dynamic web pages database is used in static web pages cheaper the development cost while in dynamic the development cost is more than the static web pages no feature of content management in a static web page 
while feature of content management is available in dynamic web page. Static web pages are written in languages such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS, while dynamic web pages are written in languages like uh, CGI, AJAX, ASP, ASP.NET and PHP. Now we talk about domain name. Domain name is the address of the, your website that people type in the browser's URL to visit your website. In other words, uh, we understand it in very easily manner that if your website was a house, then your domain name will be the address. So that is really hard to memorize and type. So which is why a unique domain name will be easier for users to remember and type. It is basically a string of recognizable words that when typed in the browser redirects to the redirects the user to your server IP. So you see when a website is created, it often comes with a unique address which is known as the domain name server, which often looks like this. Uh, have you seen yahoo.co.in? Have you seen uh, google.co.com, co.n? Like uh, any other uh, domain name you can uh, opt for your website as we have taken here xyz.org. So internet is basically a joint network of computers connected to each other through cables and other mediums. To easily identify them, each computer is assigned a series of numbers which we say IP address and the IP address is a combination of numbers separated with dots. Typically IP address uh, look like this as you seen here 66.249.66.1. So computers have no problem identifying and remembering these numbers. However, it is impossible for humans to remember and use these numbers to connect to the website on the internet. So to solve this problem, domain names were invented. Domain name can have words which makes it easy to remember website address. Now, if you wanted to visit a website on the internet, you don't need to type a string of numbers. So you can type in an easy way to remember domain name, for example, xyz.org. So once when you start, when you want to start a website, you need to have a domain name. To own your own domain, you need to register your domain with a domain registrar. So these are some guidelines to create your domain name, keep it short and easy to remember, avoid the trademarked names, get a .com, .net whenever it is possible. Don't be afraid to make up a word or use a compound word, write it out and read it repeatedly before purchasing. So checking on whether a domain name is availability is easy enough. So you can do a simple search with one of the domain registrars or use a who is search engine search to verify whether your domain name is available or has been taken. So when you register a, a domain name, all of your contact information and ownership details will be detailed into who is. This means detailed uh, this means details such as your email address home address telephone number etc will be made available to the public now we do talk about web hosting once you created the website or the web pages uh, they are linked together known as a website so you need to host this website onto the server so everyone can easily visit on your website so web hosting is a place where all the files of your website reside. It is like the home of your website where it actually lies. A web hosting is a computer where people store their website. Web hosting refers to the company that rent out their computers, servers to store your website and provide internet connectivity so that other users can access to the files on your website. For most cases, these hosting companies will handle server maintenance work like backup, root configuration, maintenance, disaster recoveries and so on. All websites on the internet need web hosting. 
when someone enters your domain name in a browser, the domain name is translated into IP address of your web hosting company's computer. The, this computer contains your website's file and it sends those files back to the user browser. So, web hosting companies specialize in storing and serving websites. They offer different types of hosting plans to their customers. Fine. Without domain name, it will not be possible for the people to find your website. And without web hosting, you cannot build a website. You can buy domain name and web hosting from two different companies. However, in that case, you will have to point your domain name to your web hosting company by editing its DNS setting. How does uh, web hosting works? Think of it as a house where you store all your stuff. But instead of storing uh, your clothes and furniture, you store digital files like HTML, documents, image, video, etc. in a web host. So, usually a web hosting company do more than just storing your website. Here are some value added services and features to expect from your hosting provider. First, domain registration. registration. So, you can buy and manage domain and hosting from the same provider. Web site builder, drag and drop web editing tool to create the website. Email hosting to send and receive emails from email at the rate the domain name which you have been selected dot com or dot in or dot org it depends basic hardware like server setup software cms server os etc for supporting purpose different types of web host while all types of servers will act as a storage center for your website they differ in amount of storage capacity control technical knowledge requirement server speed and reliability Shared hosting, Pali aate, shared hosting. In shared hosting, once website is placed on the same server as many other sites, ranging from a few to hundreds or thousands. Well, second is virtual private server, which is known as VPS hosting. A virtual private server hosting provides a server into virtual server where each website is like hosted on their own dedicated server, but they are actually sharing a server with a few different other users. Dedicated server hosting. A dedicated server offers the maximum control over the web server. Your website is stored on. You exclusively rent an entire server. Your website, your website is the only website stored on the server. Cloud hosting. Cloud hosting offers unlimited ability to handle high traffic or traffic spikes. So, how it works? A team of servers work together to host a group of websites. It allows multiple computers to work together to handle high traffic levels or spikes for any particular website. Fine. Now, we talk about responsive web design. Responsive web design is about using HTML and CSS to automatically resize, hide, shrink or enlarge a website to make it look good on all devices like desktop, tablets and phones. Setting the viewport, here you can set when making the responsive web design, we need to add the following meta element in all the web pages. The meta, meta is the name of the tag. Then you set the viewport and the content equals to width, device width, according to the device width, the page will be automatically resized. Initial scale is equal to 1.0. So, it will set, this will set the viewport of your page, which will give the browser instructions on how to control the page dimension and scaling. Responsive images are images that scale nicely to fit any browser browser size using the width property if the css width property is set to 100% the image will be responsive and scale up and down image is the name of the tag by which we can include the image into the page src the source from where the page where the image has been taken and the style equals to width the 100% is the size of that image fine 
so the image will occupy the whole window size fine so notice that in this example about the image can be scaled up to the larger than its original size so better solution in many cases will be to use the maximum width property instead the style width property using the max width property we can use the image tag in see the source the style equals to max width property 100% and height will be the photo so we can show the different image depending on the browser widths so these are the some picture tag has been used into the html5 earlier it was not available so we have used this code to the display to display the image in different windows we can give it maximum width in 600 pixel 1500 pixels and so on responsive text size the same we can uh, change the alter the size the text size can be set with a vw unit means the viewport width that way the text size will follow the size of the browser window fine so h1 is the heading tag uh, style equal to font size 10 vw and then hello world viewport is the browser window size fine 1 vw equals to 1% of the viewport width if the viewport is 50 cm wide then 1 vw is 0.5 cm now we do talk about html so html stands for the hypertext markup language and it is the most widely used language for the web page to write the web page fine so hypertext what is hypertext hypertext refers to the way in which web pages are linked together thus the link available on a web page is called hypertext it's a markup language means you can use html to simply mark up a text document with text that tell a web browser how to structure it to display originally html was developed with the intent of different defining the structure of document like heading paragraph uh, list and so forth to facilitate the sharing of scientific information between researchers now html is being widely used to format web pages with the help of different tags available in the html language it's a standard markup language for creating the web pages it stands html stands for hypertext markup language HTML describes the structure of the web page. HTML consists of series of elements. HTML elements tell the browser how to display the content. HTML elements are represented by tags. HTML tags label piece of content such as heading, paragraph, table and so on. Browser do not display the HTML tag but use them to render the content of the page. Now we see how the HTML document look like. In the simplest form, following is an example of the HTML document. So doc type HTML defines the type of the document. It is of kind HTML. It is start with the html and end with the html once we create the html document we must mention it the pair tag so starting with this and ending with this so whatever tags will come under this tag whatever we want to display will come under this fine now we say head head is also a paired tag paired means uh, opening and closing tag means once it will open it must be closed fine head it contains the meta information about the page okay title Let's suppose uh, my first page title. Have you seen the web page? Uh, it uh, it looks like uh, look. So this would be the your title bar on the top of the window. 
सो द टाइटल विल कम अंडर दिस ठीक है तो टाइटल के अंदर आप टाइटल का शो कर दीजिए जो आप उस पेज पे डिस्प्ले करना चाहते हैं देन आफ्टर यू स्टार्ट विद द बॉडी बॉडी इज आल्सो द पेयर्ड टैग तो अंडर बॉडी वॉट एवर यू राइट विल डिस्प्ले ऑन टू द पेज फाइन लेट सपोज हेयर फॉर हेडिंग वी यूज द हेडिंग एच वन एच टू एच थ्री एच फोर एच फाइव एंड सिक्स so this would be the largest and then irrespective of that the size will down fine so h1 heading heading me mai i suppose i write it is my so so whatever we want to show to make an heading we use a Heading tag which is H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. Then after, if I want to make a paragraph, I can create it with the help of P. P stands for paragraph. It's also a pair tag. Fine. So, आप जो भी paragraph यहाँ पे page पे display करना चाहते हैं about yourself, about your organization, about your product, or whatever things you you suppose to display onto the web page in the form of paragraph, you can created using the p fine so any number of times of paragraph tag you can use inside the body tag so this is the basic structure of the html document so students we have seen बेसिक फंडामेंटल थिंग्स व्हाट वेबसाइट्स रिक्वायरमेंट के लिए क्या क्या एसेंशियल पॉइंट्स हमारे पास होने चाहिए वी आल्सो डिस्कस द स्टैटिक पेज एंड डायनेमिक पेजेस वी आल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट द डोमेन नेम सर्वर व्हाट इज डोमेन नेम सर्वर एंड हाउ वी डू क्रिएट इट एंड व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ डीएनएस देन आफ्टर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टैटिक पेजेस एंड डायनेमिक पेजेस एंड देन वी आल्सो लर्न अबाउट द एचटीएमएल डॉक्यूमेंट so in this step in this video i have learned i have uh, discussed about some basic fundamental things of the web design by the next video in my next video i'll discuss how to create the list how to create the tables and so many more information i will deliver to you thank you